Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Bushcraft Bums. It's been a while. It's a little unorthodox today. We're on a boat and we're doing what they call polling for crabs. So we're in one of the migratory channels of the Blue Claw Crab here in Jamaica Bay. And what we're doing, we're at a big train trestle. And you might hear some of the noise coming overhead. And what we're doing is basically kind of going hand over hand, piling to piling, looking for these Blue Claw Crabs and we're scooping them up with the net. Uh, schools are closed today, so I'm here with my son, Will. My son, Hi. Jay. Hi. And my nephew, holding the camera. We got a pretty good haul so far. It's hard to film catching the crabs because you gotta hold on to the edge of the bridge, balance, hold, try and scoop the crabs, but we'll see if we can get one in action. And then we'll show you our haul and maybe we'll try to cook a few of them up. All right, we're good, to, glad to be back and we'll talk to you soon. All right, so I got one here in the net. I'm gonna bring her in to show you here. Whatever it is. Okay, it's a cow. Got a little crab here. It's got the red tint to the claws, so it's probably female, but the way to know for sure is the throat. This one's a soft shell. Touching the shell, it's nice and soft. It's a delicacy in some part of the world. But it's actually a female. It has this really broad vent down here. The males are more steeple shaped. They're wide at the base. They come to a narrow point. This is a female right here. It's very soft. Yeah, female soft shell. We're gonna let the fem females are not keepers. We're gonna let them go. We got enough for dinner tonight anyway. We'll show you the bucket in a bit. We're gonna let her go and let her go back and, and put more generations of crabs out there for the future. Enjoy right, her bye -bye. life. Enjoy, Enjoy the go, rest. swimming away. All right, so we're back. So we're back on dry land. All right, we got a little hole here. Nothing crazy, but we got a good amount of crabs, probably about eight or ten keepers in there. Legal limit here is a four-inch precipice from corner to corner, so all these legal and good. All right, we're going to cook them up. All right. Back in, I guess. All right, so we're back at the homestead now. We got our crabs, as we showed you before. What we did was we uh, we forgot to film this part, so we'll, we'll fast forward ahead, but uh, we got a big pot of water and we started boiling it. All right. And then we just drop the crabs in. They die instantly once they hit the water. They don't really suffer. And they're in there. You see they're turning nice and red. And, uh, you know, crabs are bottom feeders, so we're going to let them cook in there. We're going to let them boil for 15 minutes. All right, so we're going to tune you back in once they're all done. Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Riley, John Riley's brother and one of the Bushcraft bums. And my job today is to show everyone how to clean a cooked blue claw crab. As you can see, this just came out of the boiling water. They were boiled for 15 minutes and it's a bright red. That's what you want to see. And we start with the underside of the crab. We peel off the sex organs and then that leaves you kind of like a little opening that you can put your thumb under and remove the hard shell on top. You want that whole all to come off in one piece preferably. Then underneath you see there are these feather-like white uh, organs on the side. Those are the gills. That, that's what the crab uses to filter the oxygen out of the water. We're gonna remove those. Those are not edible. And then in the middle, this disgusting looking gunk in the middle is the liver or the tomatillo of the crab. And that's actually the organ that filters all of the toxins out of the seawater. So we, want to, we don't wanna eat that. We wanna remove that because that's where all the toxins are. In some cultures, it's a delicacy, but um, I don't want to take the risk of, of ingesting anything that might have toxins absorbed, so I'm going to remove that. I'm going to rinse everything once I remove it all. The mouth organs can also come off because they're not edible. And you rinse everything with fresh water. And then um, there's meat inside the shell, the body, and in the claws and also on the legs. So this is what a clean cooked crab looks like. All right, so here we have all our crab, our catch of the day, and a bunch of satisfied customers. So a good day out on the water and a good meal coming home. All right, so thanks for joining us for the uh, catch and cook of the blue crawl crabs. Uh, this is Bushcraft Bums. Thanks for watching.